In step and shoulder to shoulder, Gavin Pearce and Phil Thompson are like brothers in arms. What was the question? <laughs> He's got the retention span of an indoor plant. But their humour masks pain. The two MPs are on a mission to protect the lives of people like them, people who have served on the front line. I want our mates to stop, stop dying. I want to stop going to funerals. I want mums to stop burying their, their sons. They have their own battle scars. Both suffer post-traumatic stress disorder and have lost mates. Gavin Pearce was the sergeant major of his unit. He spent 20 years in the military, on one occasion helping arrange the funeral for one of his men who took his own life. And then you pack that kid's room up, a stuff up. And then you go to the funeral director and, and you dress that young bloke in his polyester uniform. The burden of losing soldiers he led weighs heavy. And I'll never ever, till the day I die, forget the look in that mother's eyes when we, when we gave her a flag to replace her son. Phil Thompson served in Afghanistan. He was injured in an IED blast, but he says it's losing mates to what he calls the black hole that hurts most. Every day I think how we could have been done something better. Gavin and Phil want the tears to stop and the answers to start. On average, one veteran takes their own life every two weeks. These military men turned politicians say the time is right for a royal commission into veteran suicide. I, I don't think any government has done a good enough job. I don't. I think we, we try, we all try, and, but we, we live it every day, so that's why we're here. They want more care for veterans and their families after service, assistance to find work and help them all adjust to life away from the military. Meaning, having something meaningful, have something to wake up and want to do, have something purpose, to purpose something to love. This week, Phil and Gavin shed tears in Parliament. I'm sorry for what you've had to go through. Embracing each other, addressing the House, speaking of the torment and the pain they feel. You know, I don't mention that for pity. I mention that to let all veterans know that yes, you may suffer the same thing that I suffer, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And the black hole in my heart for my 10 mates that have died is nowhere near to the pain that you must have been enduring this whole time. They feel the anguish of those left behind. I'm sorry for every mother that has had to bury their son. Among them, Julianne Finney, whose son David took his own life two years ago. And I'm just as proud of him today as I was when he was living. She's campaigned for a royal commission and this week took her plea back to Parliament House. If you're a serving member now, hold on, we're getting there. The Prime Minister has preferred the option of a long-standing commission but has not ruled out a royal commission running alongside it. These two men say for them and the families of so many soldiers lost to suicide, it would be a fitting salute and they're vowing to march on this issue together forever. He's one of the brothers, you know, his family to me. And uh, I'll never leave him and, and I'll never leave those diggers that, that I led, you know, during my time. Jonathan Kersley, Nine News.